Hey everyone, today I have my bi-weekly makeup basket update for you guys, so I'm going to jump right in. If you haven't seen one of these, I update you guys every two weeks on the makeup I've been using, and I update you on the weekend, or what, the makeup I had been using for the past two weeks, so you can, like, hear what I, how I used it, you know, how it worked for me, things like that. So, I'm going to hop right into it. A lot of the stuff is repeated because I just use the same products until they're done, or whatever, so, um, here we go. My, uh, I... Acne treatment. I like couldn't think of what it's called. It's from Skin Iceland. Love it. Um, Murad Invisibler is my primer. My eyeshadow stuff is my eyeshadow primer is the Wet n Wild one, same as usual. The um, Benefit Eye Bright is same as usual as well. I use that in the inner corners. And then my Bare Minerals 5 in 1 in the shade Barely Nude. I really have been loving this. It works so well for me. So um, that's been going well. <clears throat> as far as eyeshadows, I am still using My Lorac Pro, of course, but I did put in a couple other things. So I'm going to quickly show you those. This is a Makeup Geek pigment. It is the um, shade Sweet Dreams. So there's that. And I do have a swatch. It is, um, let's see here, right here. So hopefully you can see that it catches the light right there. So it's just a nice nude, shimmery kind of shade. It goes really well with my. Um, other makeup and then also on a like daily basis I was using this NARS duo that I have and this is the shade or I mean compact Alhambra I'll have everything listed down below just the names and stuff so you know but this is what it looks like it's kind of like a pinky peach champagne shade and then a gold and I do have these swatches they're kind of awkward so this is the gold right here and this is the champagne what a bad spot to swatch. But anyway, I've been using that. And then also the pink shade that I use to kind of help blend things out and everything. Um, I've hit some major pans, so I'm pr feeling pretty good about that. It's not in any projects, but I'm using it every day. So, of course, pan was, you know, bound to show up. Um, eyeliners are the same. I'm using the nude, nude one from Tarte in my waterline. The brown one from Pixie on my upper lash line. And then this, like, kind of golden-y one from Pixie in my inner corner. As far as mascaras go, I did finish one up. The Mali Volumizing Mascara is done. Um, it's just getting too dry to layer, but I love this mascara, so I'm going to be putting in a new one. But I'm still using my It Cosmetics um, Tight Line for my lower lash line and waterproof. Love it. And then when I go to the gym, I just put on this Essence Plump No Clump. It's still too wet and waxy for me right now. Um, so I'm just trying to use it every now and then to help kind of like dry it out a little bit, and then I'll like it more for every day. Speaking of going to the gym um, or very light makeup days, these are what I wear. I use the, it's from the Balm. It's called the Balm Shelter Tinted Moisturizer. I have the shade light. I really like it. The light shade is more of like a neutral gray, so I really like that. And then on top of it, I use my Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation, and I just found a Project Pan update, so go check that out to see progress on this and the rest of the Project Pan items. Um, but on a normal day, most of the time, I've, I've been having some issues with my skin um, breaking out, so I've been using my Tarte foundation. This is the um, fairly light neutral shade and this is the Amazonian clay full coverage foundation. I really like this. I found that I like I found that it looks the best when I apply it just with my fingers. So that's what I've been doing. I haven't really been using a brush. I mean I have used brush but it just doesn't look right. So that's that. And then on days where my skin's a little bit better um, I use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. Actually today I mixed the two. I've never mixed them before so I'm excited to see how this will wear throughout the day. It's still morning so um, yeah, that's going to be my little experiment for the day. As far as concealers, they're exactly the same. I use the Tarte concealer on my blemishes. I use the Pixie Under Eye Brightening Corrector. And then I use the Bare Mineral Stroke of Light Concealer there under my eyes as well. And then to set that, um, to set my under eye concealer, I've been using the Anastasia Vanilla Powder. And I actually hit pan this morning, so there's a little bit of pan there. So I'm excited to see that grow throughout, you know, the, the upcoming weeks and all that. And then to set my blemishes, I use the Anastasia um, Banana Powder. I just find that it helps the concealer stay longer all day. So there's that. And then, as you guys know, I spray my face then, and I use the NYX Matte Finish Spray, so that's been going well. And then I do my eyebrows, and if I'm going to the gym, I use my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. What? I just smacked myself in the glasses. Um, I don't like this for every day. I'm just not a pencil person. I prefer the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, which I have been using and loving. It's in the shade Blonde. So there's that. And then on top of that, I use the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in Blonde. So I really like that duo. And I think I'm going to do a brow video soon. I mean, I'm no pro for sure, but I thought I would share my little brow routine. 
Um, and then I set my face. So the powder I've been using is the Essence All About Matte Powder. Nothing special to say about that one. And then I've also been using my Mally Poreless Face Defender to help kind of minimize pores and mattify my T-zone. So it's just a clear kind of balm use with a sponge to blot on. So I've been loving that. And then as far as my face kind of colors go, I'm using the NARS Eberdin palette in my Pan That palette. So as you guys know, there's a bronzer, a highlighter, and four blushes in here. And then every two weeks, I rotate something else for my collection to get more use out of everything and to give myself a break from one of the things in here. So this past two weeks, I used the bronzer and the blushes, but I did not use the highlight. Well, I used it as my inner corner highlight because it's my like what I'm using, but I didn't use that as a cheek highlight as well. At all, not as well. Um, so uh, the highlighter I've been using is from Laura Geller, and if you like a subtle highlighter that does not have any glitter or you know shimmer, but it's got a sheen, this is the one for you. It's perfect for work um, without being over the top. It's perfect for school. I love it. It's one of my favorites. It's the Laura Geller Baked Highlighter in the shade Vanilla. So this is what it looks like. There's no glitter nothing like that like I said it's just a sheen um, and I do have it on today and, I mean it does still brighten up my face without going crazy so I do have it swatched it's right here so it is really nice I really really like it um, and I definitely recommend it uh, and then for my contour I'm using um, the Anastasia Fawn which is in my little Z palette here that I use every day and then I sprayed my face again to set it, and I used the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Love this stuff. Um, and then I used my Hourglass Dim Light all over um, as my finishing powder. And for my lip products, I am using the same ones that are in my project. So I'm using, on a daily basis, the Bite uh, High Pigment Lip Pencil in Madeira. And then I layer over the top the Essence Triple XL Shine Gloss in Bright Side of Life. So that's my combo for every day. And then at night, I've been wearing um, my Bite High Pigment Pencil in the shade Rhubarb, and I actually put out a lip liner. This is the Urban Decay Ozone lip liner. It's just the clear one, like the anti-feathering. I just find that it helps this doesn't like slide all over. So that's what I've been wearing on my lips. And now let's get into nail polish. I have quite a few in my little um, basket. So um, without any particular order, I have been... Okay, well, I gotta mention this one again. I wore this one last time and I talked about it. This is the Nails Ink Gel Effect Hyde Park Port. I love it. Perfect fall nail polish. Seriously, takes the cake. So I've been wearing this um, more. <laughs> I like just want it on my fingers at all times and I've never, I mean, it's been a while, I will say, since I've had a polish that like just makes me wanna keep wearing it and wearing it. So I really like that. Um, I did wear <clears throat> my... Trust Fund Beauty Nail Polish. This is from, I got this in Petit Vore last year in the fall time, and this is called Just Call My Lawyer. And it's a nice kind of like, it's almost like a darkened black with some like red shimmer through it. It's really pretty, um, and I posted an Instagram post about this, so there is a picture there um, of it there. And then this month in my Petit Vore box, um, and I do have an unboxing, I will link it down below. I got the Habit Polish in the shade 25, which is Disco, and it's really pretty. It's just kind of like a shimmery rose gold um, champagne shade. I really liked this one. Um, and then on my toes, I was wearing the Butter London Blogger. Um, so that's just a nice blue shade. And then um, last thing I had on my nails before the color I'm wearing now was the Wet n Wild uh, Mega Last. I love this line for drugstore nail polish. It's called On a Trip. And it's just like a really purple, like grape purple. I always think about it. So there's that. And then what's on my nails right now is from Zoya. It is kind of like a coral shade with um, some yellow and some orange and some pink glitter in it. And, or shimmer, not glitter. This is from Zoya. It's called Tinsley. T I N. S L E Y. I'll have everything listed down below. I'm trying to get better about doing that. So anyway, those are the polishes. That is everything oh, I used this past two weeks um, as far as makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you've been using or if there's anything in here that you use and love or if you have any questions about anything that I can be a little bit more specific about, let me know. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.